Hey guys, it's uh, Sweet Nightingale here, and I'm here with a Sweet Nightingale special. This is the first time I've ever done anything like this, but I'm going to do a sort of featured sim kind of thing, you know, that I made. Um, feature a sim, I guess. But um, I was reading and watching The Green Mile. Um, the book is by Stephen King, and the movie is really, really great. It's kind of an older movie made, I think, maybe back in... Either I want to say they're the late 90s or early 2000s, and um, it starred Tom Hanks. But anyway, it's a great, great book and movie. I'd read the book first and then watch the movie, or, you know, because, I mean, they really, really did a great job with casting those characters. Anyway, so after reading the book again, <laughs> I don't know how many times I've read the book, and then I've uh, seen the movie many times over, I decided to try to create um, John Coffey, who is the um, one of the total main characters in there, pretty much I would say the star of the show. And considering the tools that I had to work with, I mean, you know, he turned out okay. I'm not like super duper happy with how he looks, but he turned out okay for what I had to work with. But anyway, we'll kind of do a little bit of gameplay with him and stuff here too, but um, this is his everyday wear. Arms of cheek. And here's his formal stuff here. Um, kind of, you know, I didn't want to give him anything like too fancy or anything, but you know, um, cause that's just not his style. <laughs> here is his sleepwear. Weeb. And his athletic wear. As soon as it decides to load. Suzel. You know, nothing, nothing real fancy or anything. Because he's just kind of a simple person. Uh, swimwear. And then for seasonal Arms stuff, achieve. here is his outerwear. Now his personality. Let's see. I think I had him become an Aquarius. I'm not sure when he was born, actually. But his traits are, uh, he's absent-minded, you know, because he was kind of a slow kind of a slow person uh book wise and stuff you know but when he kind of did his little thing and I don't want to spoil it for you guys but he had a he, he had this really cool talent um you know for healing <laughs> but I'm not going to spoil it all or anything you know you guys will have to watch the movie or read the book to you know to kind of get a, a good idea but anyway he's absent-minded uh he's brooding because you know he just kind of you know goes within himself a lot um you know if you notice the book in the movie, he's a coward because he was scared of the dark in the book in the movie. Uh, he's handy. Now, um, I kind of figured that, you know, because he did like, and this book and movie took place like back in the uh, Great Depression, you know, that the states had in the 1930s. And so he went around and he kind of did odd jobs before he ended up in the situation that he was in. So I kind of imagined that he'd, he'd be pretty good at fixing things. You know, he was very good at fixing living things. <laughs> but, um, you know, somebody that's kind of, you know, got issues with, say, autism or, you know, something like that. Uh, a lot of those people are really great at like art or music or, you know, taking things apart and putting it back together. So we're going to make him handy. And he is also, uh, he loves the outdoors. Now, I did make him a wizard, um, although, like in the book and the movie, I mean, I, you know, he really wouldn't be considered a, a wizard or anything like that. But because um, because of the lifetime wish I gave him and stuff, um, and because of his character, uh, I just thought it would be kind of nice to have him, you know, be like that in the, in the Sims and have him be able to, you know, do that kind of magic and stuff. Now, his lifetime wish is Mystic Healer. So cure uh, twelve, cure twelve different transform Sims by using the sunlight charm or po or potent cure elixir. So we're gonna go ahead and try that. And then you guys have heard his voice. He likes um, he likes grilled cheese. You know we're gonna keep the the food kind of simple. You know because he's you know he's not a fancy dancy kind of guy. You know obviously he likes classical music. I can't really see him liking any of the other music that's in the Sims, you know, so I, I think classical would be good. And then Irish green is his favorite color. So let's go ahead and do a little bit of gameplay with him and uh, we'll just get him a nice little house here. Suzel. Yeah. Now I will upload him to the exchange for you guys if you want to download him. And also you guys are asking about my current household that I had just done. I will upload that sim also to the, the exchange. But let's go ahead and get him moved into a house. And we're in Sunset Valley. I just picked good old Sunset Valley. <laughs> um, now I could give him a house that I've gotten, you know, that I've downloaded. But I think we'll, we're just going to pick something here that's already built into the game. Um, 
uh, let's see, the monotone mm, shotgun style. Well, let's take a look at them because sometimes I can't remember what the houses look like in Sunset Valley. It's I don't play there that often, so. <laughs> maybe this will work you know I think maybe this will work for him there's an extra bedroom there that we can do something else with but yeah yeah I think I think I can work with this all right I'm gonna go ahead and purchase it and we're gonna go ahead and get him moved in Okay, we're going to see where this weather stone is going to come up. Now, I think this lot is big enough to actually be able to put in a garden, and we can always, you know, add to it and stuff, you know, should we need to. But, you know, he's not really that kind of guy that's that's going to need very much, you know, kind of thing. Um, but, oh gosh, and I have some gift requests and stuff, which I will go ahead and get five friend requests also. Uh, okay, let's go ahead and look at this weather stone. All right, where's it gonna come up at? There it comes. All right. That is awesome. That is awesome. Okay, so he wants to, uh, he wants to join the professional sports career, which I think that'll be a good one for him to do because, you know, he doesn't really need to, you know, he's, if you guys have like watched the movie or read the book, he's a big, really, really muscular kind of hulking guy. You know, there's been a lot of people that were afraid of him and stuff. So, um, I don't want, you know, he's not going to be the kind of guy that's going to end up, uh, having something where he's going to have to use his head a lot because, you know, there's not, um, he's just not that type. So, um, we're going to go, so professional sports, I mean, you know, they can, he can, be able to do that pretty easily I think so we're gonna go ahead and get him his job and I should like maybe redecorate his house or something but we don't have a whole lot of money um, I could you know use some cheats with them but I'm not gonna do that for um, for uh, the sake of you know doing this gameplay with you guys right now we're just gonna go ahead and we're just gonna go ahead and leave him as is here and um, let's see we're, we need to find the we need to find the stadium here or something Ah, which is right here. Join professional sports career. So we'll have him go there to do that. And then we'll need to have him go to the gym and stuff to work out. And I'll go ahead and get the other gifts, like, and, and I'll use those for my Let's Play. So I won't, I'm not going to worry about that right now. And he's on a very slow broom. <laughs> I can't really see him riding a broom, but, you know, he's not really the type to drive. But in The Sims, you know... Um, in The Sims, you know, just things like that happen, so what the heck. <laughs> you can't really have it, you can't really have it totally like how he would actually be, you know, in The Sims. I mean, it's, it's, um, uh, he's gonna end up doing different things than his character normally would, but, you know, it's just how The Sims are, so. It's just the way it is. So, we're gonna go ahead and accept the career. Okay. Very good. Now we should go and we should go and have him work out at the gym. Okay, congratulations. John has just got a new job. Um, okay, so he works at 3 p.m. on Monday. Okay, John's boss is Marty Keaton. Okay, so we're gonna go to the gym and have him do some working out. Attention property owner, blah blah blah. Okay, now the gym, I think, was back this way. All right, so we are back, and we're just going to go ahead and have him go to the gym to do, do a little bit of working out here. Let's see. We also should uh, um, have him play with his magic and stuff, too. Okay. Here is the wellness gym, so we're going to go ahead and go here. Uh, 
again, we're pretty much a long ways away from a full moon, so back on the broom he gets. <laughs> Alrighty. So here we go. This is the gym in Sunset Valley. And there's a nice little pool to go with it too. Very cool. So all of the workout stuff I think is up here. So we're gonna go ahead and have him pump some iron. All right. This is a uh, Jocasta Bachelor. So I'm going to speed two through the workout here. Not too much to say while he's doing this, but yeah. Get that get that athletic skill up a little bit. Yep. Actually I don't know if we'll gain I don't know if we'll gain a skill at this time, but we'll see. Probably could have made him athletic, but and when the festival spawns, of course, we'll send them over to the festival. So that'll be good. That will be good. But we'll see what he can get on this on this little um, power burn station here thingy. And the skill isn't going up real fast, but it's going to take a little bit of time. It's going to take a little bit of time. And he is absent-minded, so he's going to kind of forget, like, what he's supposed to be doing sometimes, so. <laughs> um, but sometimes absent-minded sims are funny, you know, they, they are. <laughs> I kind of have to laugh. I do, I have to laugh. Oh my gosh. And it's so funny when they start out, like, with the, with, without an introduction to the athletic skill. Oh my goodness. Because uh, they can't even lift that thing like off the ground. <laughs> I probably should have put them on the treadmill. That seems to work a little easier, but yeah. But they fall all the time. And he's gonna get smelly. Um, he wants to learn handiness skill, which we'll do. Oh. Then he wants to, let's see, then he wants to meet a supernatural, which I guess we could do that, learn alchemy skill, okay, play with magic. Alright, so we've got some wishes lined up for him, which is good. Yep, I guess you're done for the day, yep, go take your shower because you stink. Yep, go take your shower because you smelly. You smelly. <laughs> Buy a dryer. Nope, we're not going to do that right now. Read a book about handiness. Yeah, I guess we could do that. That's how we're going to end up learning it. cheap showers in there. It takes them forever to take a shower. I mean, forever. All right, so let's go ahead and have him go to the, the library. Now, in, in the um, book and movie, of course, you know, he cannot read. You know, he can't read or anything like that. He can barely spell his name and stuff, but for the sake of the Sims, you know, they're just, you know, they're gonna have to, so, but anyway. <laughs> anyway, yeah. 
Now, um, I will add a few things to the town, um, like the greenhouse and, you know, some of the other things. That way, you know, we can go there. Um, but, uh, I mean, this isn't going to be like a regular series or anything. So as I play this, I probably will just, you know, go ahead and add the things to the town. But uh, for the sake of uh, getting... Um, you know, for the sake of just showing this, you know, showing him to you guys and doing some gameplay with them and stuff. You know, I just, I didn't, but I will do that later. Um, okay, let's go ahead and have him go to the library. And I think we can find some skill books at the library because I don't think that we have a bookshelf at our place. We'll get him to the library. We'll have him play with some magic a little bit. Mm. Yeah, let's let's just kind of play with some magic a little bit to kind of take care of that wish. Uh, play with magic. Mm. Huh. Mm. Gorbu. All right. And then he also wants to read a book about handiness, which we will do. So, yep, so um, get that magic skill up a little bit. Whimsy we should get him a new Loco. wand. Well, actually, Gwet actually what I'm going to do right now, you guys, what I'm going to do right now, and I said that I wasn't going to, I said that I wasn't really going to use like a cheat, like money cheats or whatever, but because of the way his character is, we need to have him have magic hands. <laughs> Definitely. And I can't remember how much that is. So I'm doing the lifetime happiness cheat. And I think I, sh I had a video at one time showing you guys how to do that. you got to turn on the testing cheats in the beginning of the game before you choose, like, whatever family you're going to play. Um, load your save game, like, whatever family you're going to play, and then go to the Lifetime Happiness tab. Click on the control key on your keyboard, and then left-click on your mouse, and it adds the 500 Lifetime Happiness points with each click. So, yep. We're just going to click, 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 click away, click away. And I think... I'll just put it at 70, but I think, um, I think the magic hands are like 30, 30,000 or something like that. Here we go. Magic hands. Yes. Magic hands is 20,000 lifetime happiness points. There we go. All right. So here is his magic hands. Kava. Kaja Valokto. And next time he does magic, he will do he'll do it with his hands. But I just, you know, I just figured that was the, you know, because of the way his character is and stuff, it's just good to have that. <laughs> and since this is my own gameplay, um, sometimes like when it's uh, my own gameplay, if there's something in particular that I want them to have right away, I will use that cheat to, you know, to get that for him. Um, you know, just because, okay, so we're going to go ahead and... Uh, We'll go into the library here. We'll stop there. We can always go home to play with magic, should we wish. But, um... Yeah, even though he's going to do some different things, like in the... You know, his sim self is going to do different things than, like, his own character actually would. Um, I want to try to keep him as much in character as I can, because it's just, you know, that's just the regular way. That's, that's best. So, do we have any... I'm not sure if this is the skill thing or not here. Um, no, these are just books for them to enjoy. So I need to try to find the shelf with the skill books. I always have a hard time finding that, but we're, we're going to find it. This might be it over here. Let's just, let's take us a look. Let's go ahead and read. Okay, here we go. Handiness Volume 1. Very good. And he's going to have to pee before too long and get something to eat and stuff. So this isn't too exciting, you know, having him read the, you know, read the book like this, but yeah. 
Now he should get a handiness skill raise pretty quickly because he does have the handiness trait. So um, that's gonna that's gonna raise it awfully quick. And maybe I'll buy a tree of prosperity when we get enough money. So I just might do that because you know that always helps. And that'll help with the athletic because they will get that athletic um, quite frequently when you have that tree of prosperity. So if you're having trouble getting their athletic skill up and you need to, um, then get a tree of prosperity. <laughs> oh, Splortney. It's wanting me to share memories, but yep. So we're gonna get a we're gonna get a handiness. Yep, there we go. We got a handiness skill. And there's the bathroom, so in case we need to pee, which we should go ahead and pee before we leave. And hopefully this this is the gentleman's bathroom. We'll have to see. Because I, I never... Sometimes it's hard for me to tell which is which. Yeah. <laughs> All right. All right, so he did that. Very good. Kill two birds with one stone there. <laughs> um... He wants to garden. Okay. I'll go to the bookstore. Yeah, maybe we'll get him like a little, maybe we'll get him like a little tablet or something. And when we get enough money and then, you know, he can listen to tab casts and stuff. Um, okay, Gunther Goth. All right. All right, so he's going to get another handiness skill, I think, if he keeps reading this, which is going to be good. And he's going to level this skill up very, very quickly. All right, yep. Okay, he's got handiness to level two. Now, um, I will be uh, starting at my house review series again because I think I got pretty much all the kinks worked out in my game. I still have the issues that I used to, you know, that I've always had before. Like, um, you know, sometimes my create a sim will act up. And um, especially, like, if I pull out a save sim out of the little save bin, you know, one time too often or whatever. But um, that's always happened to me ever since I've, pretty much, like, ever since I've had this game. Mm. Um, but actually creating a sim seems to work, like, from scratch. Um, but... To actually pull one, you know, to actually pull like two or three out of the little saved bin thing, that's that's where I run into issues. But other than that, um, at least I'm not crashing as often. I mean, sometimes I'll crash, but, you know, I used to crash anyway. But, you, you know, at least it's not like every freaking five minutes <laughs> like it used to be. So I am so glad about that. And um, I don't know why. I mean, I didn't really do anything to the game or anything. I mean, I put, I updated the, well, I had taken out my mods for a while, um, because sometimes, you know, mods, oops, and speaking of crashing, there we go. All right, so we're going to fire back up again, and I will be right back. All right, guys, we are back, and, um, I did a few things differently. I wasn't going to upgrade anything right now, but I decided to go ahead and do that, you know, as long as I crashed and stuff, I figured I might as well, um, while he was working out at the gym, but, um, yeah, I was, and he's scared of the thunderstorm, <laughs> but yeah, I was saying that uh, I wasn't crashing as often, and I was jinxing myself, because as I was talking about crashing, I crashed, but I mean, it doesn't happen as often anymore, thank goodness, but um, yeah, because I mean, I was crashing like every freaking five to eight minutes for a while, and yeah, <laughs> that isn't fun. But yeah, what I was saying that I was doing, and okay, and as you can see, I upgraded the stove, added added a few little things, upgraded the fridge. Um, but yeah, I'd taken out the mods for a while to see how that would run. And um, the mods that I had, you know, I looked to see if there was updates in Supernatural, and there was. Mm -hmm. So um, things started to run okay, so I figured I'd put the, you know, put the, and I just only use a few mods, but I went ahead and put that back in. And things seemed to be okay, you know. Mm. And I put all my houses mm. back in that I had, and things seemed to be okay. So... Knock on wood, they remain that way. <laughs> and you better not burn the mac and cheese. I'm having to make some mac and cheese. And he did good. He did good. Uh, he learned some handiness. And he ended up, uh, I did end up getting him the, the tablet. So um, he did end up, like, on his own, start listening to logic. So he does have a logic skill, which is okay. I mean, Sims are going to learn skills and, you know, what the heck. And, uh, you know, and if he gets smart, I mean, we can just always say that, he 
you know, that because, you know, because we do have magic in The Sims now that he got a really nice benefactor who uh, kind of helped him out with, in that department. So, yeah. But I didn't take him back to the library because we did have a bookshelf here. Um, and I did upgrade it, so... I did upgrade that, so yeah. And I put I put his stuff in the in the fridge. So we're gonna go ahead and have him just pee after he gets done with that. And then you need you need to clean up your mess. Let's go ahead and have him check the weather. Check the weather in high definition. I did get him a nice TV because, you know, he needs a few like entertaining things in his life kind of thing. So, you know. Now back here, this this um, th there used to be a bed here, but I I put in the alchemy station here so that we could learn some alchemy. And then over here on the desk, I added I added my lovely little iMac back in, so I have my Mac back <laughs> both in The Sims and. I have a Mac now, but I got my Mac back in The Sims, yeah, because I, I put back in the few things that I, like, gotta, gotta, gotta have, so, yeah. Yuppers. Yuppie, yuppie. Oh, my gosh, we're gonna get, like, rain, light rain tomorrow and hail. Oh, my gosh, no, not hail, but heavy rain. Oh, gosh, the only sunny days are gonna be, like, um, Wednesday and Friday, unless the weather changes. Yeah. But anyway, the, the weatherman, um, it's kind of funny because the weatherman is pretty funny on this thing. Yep. Yeah, look at that. Uh huh, look at that. The weatherman is pretty funny. <laughs> pretty funny. And he's getting tired, so we, you know, we should really put him, put him to bed because he's got to get to work tomorrow. So let's go ahead and ha just have him go to sleep. And with him being absent-minded, he keeps forgetting to turn this thing off and stuff. So, um, you know, because they are absent-minded, they kind of forget where they're going and they forget like what to do. You know, so you got to kind of tell him to. Uh, do every single little thing. <laughs> but anyway, um, I'll go ahead and be back in the morning when he gets up. Okay, guys, so John is going to be getting up here, and uh, yep, he's getting up right now, and we're going to go ahead and have him fix some waffles. And he's scared of the thunderstorm. Um, yep, he's scared of the thunderstorm. Which means he'll also, I think, be scared of the dark, too, which he actually was in the book and the movie and stuff. Um, yeah, but yeah, you guys totally, totally need to at least watch the movie, but read the book first. But, you know, if you don't, you know, if you're not into reading or whatever, which uh, I always find it sad when somebody's not into reading myself because, you know, me and my husband and I are total bookworms. We are. <laughs> but, um, you know, if you don't like reading, at least watch the movie because, I mean, the movie's great really really great that I gotta say that is the one movie that um, I like as much as uh, the book and there's not many movies that I like as much as I do you know the the books that they were based on and the summer festival is here but uh, the Green Mile is is a total total exception I mean they really 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 did a bang-up job on that absolutely did a bang-up job so Anyway, uh, so we're gonna just have him eat. We'll, uh, well, he wants to go to the summer festival, we'll, you know, which is here, but it's not such a great day to go out. <laughs> so it really is not a great day to go out. And sounds like he's got his bills, so we'll have to do that. Oh, I oh, you burned it. You burned it, my friend. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Not good. Not good. Well, clean this up. <laughs> I like you too much to make you eat burnt waffles. So let's go ahead and, and um, <laughs> we'll go ahead and clean that up. And we're going to try it again. I think he got another cooking skill. But yeah, let's let's try it again. Uh, let's have you serve breakfast. You know what? How about you try some pancakes this time since, that you're, since that's your favorite food. Yep. 
does have a cooking skill to level two. So hopefully, yep, the summer festival has arrived, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. So hopefully he will do better. And I imagine like, you know, you don't really see this character until like he gets him, you know, until he ends up getting into the predicament that he's in, like for the story's sake and stuff. But um, I imagine he's really not much of a cook or whatever, but he pretty much like traveled, um, traveled the country to, you know, to find work and stuff. So um, he was pretty much a wanderer, really. He was a wanderer. He got work wherever he could, you know, doing what he could do. Kind of a sad life, you know, and all right, come on, John, you can you can do it this time. We got faith in you. <laughs> yep, we got faith in you. You can do it. Ah. Okay. Good. All right, go ahead and grab yourself a plate. Yeah. Actually, you... Let's see. Oh, he's going to go ahead and look out the window, but we're going to go ahead and have him eat. And grab a plate. I think he wants to go outside, but which we may end up having him do. He's sore from working out. He's hungry. Yeah, so he's going to go ahead and get that well rested. Superior equipment. That's from the fridge. Mm -hmm. Nicely decorated and comfy. Yep, so. Turn on my little tabs here. I can see his moods. Okay. So he's going to have to pee and stuff. Um, he needs to go ahead and clean this up. We'll go ahead and have him make his bed. And I think we'll just kind of get him ready for his day. We'll... Okay, so go ahead and pee. Go ahead and take your shower. And he can sh tinker with this too. Take take brooding shower. <laughs> there you go. And then I think we'll come over here to have him just research some alchemy. We need some more lights in here. It's pretty dark in here. Research alchemy a few times. Get that alchemy skill up. I do like the shower and tub combo from Seasons. I'm glad that they brought that back from The Sims 2. We'll speed two through that. Okay, so he's gonna go ahead and go ahead and research his alchemy here. And he could go out and play in the puddles and stuff, but it is like lightning and thundering, and we do not want him to die. No. <laughs> so I don't think we're gonna go anywhere until until he has to go to work. Okay, so he's got an alchemy skill. That alchemy skill goes really quick. I do have to say, it really does. Travel abroad, uh, buy a new magic wand. Well, you got magic hands, so you don't really need that. Oops. Uh, create an elixir, which we can do. Yeah. We're not going to go anywhere until it's time to go to work because this weather is horrible. Horrible, horrible. He does need a little bit of social, so when he goes to work, we'll have him meet his, uh, his, his, uh, co-workers. And it looks like he's got some alchemy to level two. Very good. He knows Vial of Bliss. Carpool will come in about an hour. 
So we're probably going to have to exit out a couple of those. Hmm. Oh, Alco Darfy. <laughs> I think he learned another. He knows Jar of Friendship. We'll just wait for the carpool to get here. Oh, listen to that thunder. Hmm. Oh, Pants of Burkle. All right. There it comes. Oh, just in time. All right. Anyway, guys, I think that uh, we're going to go ahead and stop right here. Uh, we've all seen the summer festival before, and he's just going to go ahead and go off to work. We're going to go ahead and have him meet, uh, meet team members. But I hope you guys like this little special. You know, I thought it was kind of neat, and uh, I'm glad I created him. Um, I was thinking about that last night, you know, right after I got done watching the movie. So, um, like I said, I mean, for the tools that I had to work with, he turned out okay. You know, he, he turned out okay. Um, but anyway, you guys have a fantastic day. Favorite and like this video. You need to go to work. Oh my goodness. That's the trouble with like absent-minded Sims because they, <laughs> they forget where they're supposed to go. Going to work. <laughs> Meet team members. Oh my goodness. You're gonna get soaked. You're gonna get soaked and then you're gonna and then you're gonna freak out. Because you're out in the storm. But anyway, uh have a fantastic day. Favorite and like this video. Uh subscribe to see my uh regular let's plays and to watch my house review series, all that good stuff. Leave a comment and tell me what you think and uh Hope you guys had a great Thanksgiving for those of you that celebrated it. And for anyone else who had a, a holiday around this time, I hope you had a good one. So you guys have a great weekend, and we'll talk to you guys all later. Bye, guys.